Hey everyone, um, we're now going to get to the second video of this series of uh, sort of highlighting what's new in the release one of 2020. So this is the first half of 2020. Obviously we're now in the second release of 2020, so we'll get there. We're doing a little bit of a catch up. But uh, item number two, which was pretty interesting or interesting to me at least, was something about over receive. So what you can do now in uh, Business Central is if you have a PO uh, and you have a line, let's say you're buying a chair uh, and you have the quantity there for 20, you're going to buy 20 chairs and then you release the PO and so when you're receiving, uh, let's say for some reason, the vendor shipped you 22 chairs, okay? I know it doesn't happen very often. They probably always ship you less than what you ordered. Uh, but like in some cases, like when you have variable weight, uh, you're buying some fluids, for example, or let's say leafy greens, um, they might ship you a little bit more because it's not exact. Uh, but in this case, we have, we got 22 chairs. So we're receiving 22 chairs. So quantity, actually, let me just change that. Let's call it what it is in the system. We have a quantity to receive. So if you put that as 22, but the quantity that you ordered was 20, uh, when you hit 22 on this after you release, so remember you have to release it first. What the system will do is say, ah, so if you allow it over receive, it's okay to go up to 22. It will actually change this number to 22 and then it will put in something called over receive, which is two. So that's flagged on the line later. So it keeps track of what you over received for. So if you were okay with over receiving, you set that up in the system, you can actually get 22. It modifies the quantity up to 22, puts in two for over receive, and you can post and you know that this was over received by 20. So the code you set up is actually specifying by what percentage your tolerance is. So if the, in this case the, the tolerance was 10%, 22 would be okay, 23 would not. So you set up the tolerance percentages. So we'll see that in the system. It's pretty neat, it's helpful for sure. So try it out. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, allowing for over receiving. Pretty good one. So if I go into over receipt codes right here, uh, there's one setup which is the over receipt um, 10. It allows us to receive quantity of 10% more than what we ordered. So, and that's set up with 10% tolerance. You can actually check off here that approval is required. I haven't tested that out, so go ahead and do that if you want to. But I'll show you the basic feature of this. So if we go into vendors and take a look at the progressive home furnishing, I've changed this to allow for over receipt. So I put in the over receipt code here. So this vendor I'm okay with over receiving from. And then if I go into a purchaser and I'm just going to create one, <clears throat> create a new one and pick the vendor. So the progressive home furnishing is here and I'm going to put a Tokyo guest here in here. And so I put in 20, so 20 we're going to order. And then I release the order, right? And now it's released, sent to the vendor, and we're waiting for the chairs to come in. So the chairs come in, and I'm gonna go ahead and receive it, but I actually got two more. So I'm put 22. And the system tells me an over receipt quantity is recorded on the purchase order. So it's okay with it. It actually changes the quantity out here. So I think that was kind of. You know, they're logging it for sure with an over receipt quantity. So there's a code. However, the original is changed here. So yeah, it's interesting to see how that actually flows. But the code comes in here. It was over receipt and tells you by how many. So that's how you can tell 
that this um, was over received um, and by how much. So I put 10%. If I would have gone into 23, which is obviously more, then it fails. So 20, uh, 10%, 22 is what it takes. <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and post that to make sure this is all good. Just hit post. Uh, receive an invoice, post all the way through, everybody's happy and everything is good. Awesome.